The normal ablation profile describes a three-dimensional volume based on a flat cornea surface. With the Smart Pulse Technology SPT profile, the volume is based on a curved corneal surface where each ablation point is equidistant using a fullerene structure. The concept of TransPIK with SPT is what we call smart surface. We see the differences in roughness with and without smart pulse technology. The reduction is about 60% from 749 nanometers down to 272 nanometers. You can observe the roughness on this electron microscopy from Dr. Kang, showing that the surface of the SPT transpire K is smoother. After importing the data from the topography, in our case the Sirius system, which is also a shine flow camera, we get the preoperative data as keratometry, cornea pachymetry and offset of the center of the ablation in relation to the pupil and the limbus. Now we can enter the epithelium thickness data. Here you see the ablation map of the right eye and the plant target and also the residual stroma thickness that is calculated preoperatively. Now the data of the left eye and now the imported data that we sent to our laser system. In this case we have plain and aberration free ablation. A speculum is introduced between the eyelids. The last and third drop of conjunctine is applied. After that, we use cold PSS. We performed a study showing that the thermal relaxation time after applying cold PSS is 50 seconds. Polyvinyl alcohol sponge is dipped in balanced salt solution and allowed to expand fully. The sponge is applied gently over the corneal surface in a painting-like motion to avoid unequal wetting of the cornea, which could result in an uneven ablation. Pupillar registration together with static and dynamic cyclotorsion control is initiated. In this case, as we measure more than 5 degrees of static cyclotorsion, we repeated measurement. Particle aspiration system ensures stable microclimatic conditions across the cornea. At the same time, the climatic condition remains constant. The laser treatment is then applied with 1050 Hz frequency. The eye tracker camera monitors the position of the eye 1050 times per second. Apart from the linear movements, it compensates rolling movements of the eye. Compensation of the eye rotation around its optical axis is achieved with the static and dynamics advanced cyclotorsion control. Movements along the z-axis are actively compensated by means of the z-tracking. We retrospectively analyzed the data of two consecutive groups of 125 eyes treated one with TransPIK without SPT versus a second group with smart surface. Here you see the predictability of the two groups in the eyes treated with and without SPT. The efficacy was good in both and in terms of safety no eye had a loss of two lines or more of snell visual acuity. If we look to the uncorrected visual acuity after the four days, day when we take the contact lens off, we have a significant better visual acuity in the group of eyes with SPT. And here's the difference. Up to 70% of the patient could see 20-25 or better binocularly. Uncorrected distance visual acuity compared with 15% of the eyes treated without SPT. After applying cold PSS, we give drops with fluormethalone and orfloxacin and apply the contact lens which we remove at the day 4 after surgery. In smart surface laser technique, we don't use mitomycin C 
in Virgin Eyes. Thank you very much.